Hey guys, this is Jonathan's Media Shack here again, and today, here is my review slash rant on that sinking feeling. Another, another Spongebob episode that I'm gonna rant on from season 7. So basically, what the plot is, it was a beautiful day on Conch Street where Spongebob and Patrick are just giggling and playing by running back and forth between their houses like assholes that they are. Squidward finally opens up his blinds to look out of his window and that easily annoyed him re really quickly because they are running in his yard the whole time like little assholes that Spongebob and Patrick are. Literally. He loses his temper and and he walks angrily outside to to snap at them. And he stops Spongebob and Patrick with two suction cups and screams at them about playing in his yard. Spongebob then explains to Squidward about doing so and that they're using his yard as a walkway. Actually, they are just doing that so that they can be assholes. Squidward now wants to make them ch choose which one to play with the yards other than his yard. And Patrick thinks it was he was good at choosing, but he isn't. He can't decide which yard to play in that day, and he he whines about it and acts like a fucking crybaby about it. And finally, it was Squidward's choice. And Squidward had decided to separate Spongebob and Patrick from each other by putting them in their own yards and draws a box around his to prevent Spongebob and Patrick from going in it. And goes into his own house for some peace and quiet. The two all of a sudden panic. Thinking that they'll never see each other again. Oh come on. Really? Man they're such drama kings. Spongebob tries to walk across the road. But the traffic was too terrible, and just at that moment, wants Patrick to do something. Patrick tries to squeeze himself into the mailbox in order to get to Spongebob's house. Okay, that's pretty stupid. But it ends up breaking it and explodes. Spongebob wants Patrick to sit tight, ties, ties himself to the mailbox, and slingshots himself to Patrick. But that didn't work either. Spongebob then had, had an idea and wants Patrick to see if they can dig a tunnel underneath their houses. They eventually meet up and they start playing and Squidward can unfortunately hear them playing. So he goes outside to yell at them but nobody's in their yard. So he looks in Spongebob and Patrick's house, but they're not in there either. So he couldn't find them anywhere, and eventually this sends Squidward into a rage mode. And he believes Spongebob and Patrick have finally became ghosts. Um, Don't you remember in that episode where... Well, Dutchman turns Spongebob and Patrick into ghosts. Yeah, something like that. Because Spongebob and Patrick cut off the Dutchman's beard and he couldn't go on a date because he was too ugly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That one was pretty stupid as well. So, yeah. Sorry about that. So let's continue on. <clears throat> so he shouts, Where are they? And he start, 
and starts jumping up and down. This causes the roots underground to wiggle and SpongeBob and Patrick think they're dancing and and SpongeBob's like, we're gonna dance to it too. This sinks Squidward's house and he finally realizes that they've been underground the whole time, so he enters his house through the roof hatch. That caused Squidward to be very upset. And he comes out of his house and makes Spongebob and Patrick digging it back out while he relaxes. But Patrick accidentally breaks Squidward's window and Spongebob accidentally lets all the dirt flood Squidward and him himself out of the house. Then Squidward became enraged and he threatens Spongebob and Patrick that if they don't obey him and dig out of his house by the count of three, Squidward will turn him into chum. Meaning that he's gonna kill them, which then frightens them. So SpongeBob and Patrick dig more, but that wasn't enough to dig the house out completely. So when Squidward reaches free, they start running away in panic. In a panic mode. And Squidward angrily chases them. Digging more tunnels as they're doing this. Spongebob and Patrick sink all the buildings in Bikini Bottom. Including their own houses. Downtown. And even at the Krusty Krab. Plankton then realizes. That the Krusty Krab was gone. And so he's, he's like oh yeah. Now people can eat at the chum bucket finally. But that didn't last. It sank to and plankton's then it's like plan it's I'm sorry guys. What I'm trying to say is the chum bucket also sank and plankton's like horse shit. Yeah. After when he saw his restaurant being sank, he's like aw horse shit. And after a whole lot of digging, Spongebob and Patrick come to a rock and a very furious Squidward corners towards them. And after he yells at them, and Spongebob and Patrick tearfully apologizes, but Squidward doesn't forgive them. And he's like, I am going to... And... Before anticipating the inventable, all of the, invis the all of the bikini bottom sinks underground. Sometimes later, SpongeBob, Squidward, and the other bikini bottomies are now seen been seen digging out a bikini bottom. SpongeBob like says, "Another beautiful day on the bikini bottom," and, and Squidward puts on a mining helmet and sings. I hate neighbors. And that's it. That's it. That's literally it. That's the whole plot for this episode. We'll talk more about the next part, so stay tuned.